Let's talk now about how we interpret correlations uh, with dummy variables. So in this case, again, I have uh, three different dummy variables, Northeast, South, and Midwest. And I have a reference group, which is not included among these variables, is, is when for people from the West. And I'm trying to predict uh, likelihood of, of endorsing conservative values depending on what region you are from. Right, so I have conservatism, these conservative values is, is our Y variable in this case, and then I have three X variables, Northeast, South, and Midwest, one for each of those grouping variables, G minus one number of dummy codes. Right, and then our reference group is West. Well, let's take a look at what these numbers actually mean. In each case, when we look at the, the so this, and this is just a correlation table, right? So, Correlations are all one or nil across the diagonal, right? Conservative values uh, has a one correlation with conservative values, northeast with northeast, south with south, midwest with midwest. This is the lower left triangle of this. Let's first take a look at this column here, right? And this is how each of our variables correlates with our y, with our outcome variable. Now, of course, our outcome variable correlates one with itself. Each of these correlations must be interpreted in light of the reference group. This is how each of these means compares to the reference group. So if we're taking our group level conservative values, let's look at the sign here. There's an implied positive sign and these are both negative. What this is telling us is that people from the Northeast are less likely to have conservative values than people from the West. Note how I refer it to the reference group. People from the South, because I have a positive correlation here, are more likely to, to endorse conservative values compared to a reference group. And people from the Midwest, again negative, are less likely to endorse conservative values compared to the reference group. These are all in comparison to the reference group. It's not that Southerners are more likely to endorse conservative values compared to the rest of the world. It's compared to the reference group. This is why choosing the reference group is so important. This is why we want to make it our control group or why we want to make it an important group in all of this. And our, our research questions are going to help determine what our reference group is. Because all of this correlation tells us is uh, whether we're not more or less likely to endorse conservative values compared to Westerners. Uh, and so that's the thing. If we wanted to figure out where the, our correlation for West, being from the West with conservative values, we'd have to set a different reference variable and refigure out the whole thing. So the sign here is very important. And the sign compares to our reference group. That's for the Y column. Now let's look at the rest, right? And the rest of our correlation table here is how each of our X, our predictor variables, our dummy codes, correlates with the others. As a matter of necessity, these must always be negative. Our dummy codes must always negatively uh, correlate with all the others. And that has to do with the idea that if you're not from the West, you're from one of these other groups, which means that being a member of the Northeast, the South, and the Midwest is all not W. And because of that, these are always going to be negative because of the multicollinearity that's occurring with that group membership, because we're actually subtracting out some of that group membership. So the important part here is that in dummy codes, the correlation among our dummy variables is always going to be negative. The correlation between our dummy variables and our outcome variable is going to, the sign of it is going to be associated with how those particular groups compare to the reference group. And that's really what I want you to get out of this. We're all about comparing our correlation table back to the reference group.